Hello my convicts and convict catchers, this is Andy of Convict bringing you guys and gals another quick video. So this is just a quick tech tutorial. Steam has just launched, I've just found out from Marty VR, a good friend of ours VR dude, salute to you, uh, that I've followed quite recently. I've actually been following from quite a while but I've never actually subscribed. I did subscribe not too long back but uh, salute to, to Marty. Uh, they was talking about something that I've just seen today as well. It's introduced now. Steam has introduced VR Steam Link. So there's a Steam Link here you can actually do. You download it on the Quest in the headset. You just put in Steam Link and go to Get. I can't really show it at the moment because my Quest is actually dead. But if you go into your Quest headset and then go to the store and type up the Steam link, you'll find something that says Steam link and it'll go in there. However, if you're having problems like I did when I first tried it out and it comes up and when it goes to the bit where you're searching for the network connection and it wasn't connecting, I'll just show you quickly what you need to do. You actually need to come here into Steam itself and you just need to turn on a couple of things. If you go to the very top left here where it says Steam and it's got the symbol, and you click on that and go down to settings. If you go further down, you'll actually come to a bit where it says remote play. If you click on remote play, make sure you've got a, a remote play enabled. As you can see, I am um, connected. I am paired on the Quest 2. So you can see it is connected. And then obviously all you need to do then is just obviously follow along. Um, now, I don't know obviously what settings. I just quickly did this very, very briefly. So I don't know. You might need to look through these settings and decide for yourself what you want to do. Obviously, IP sharing automatic because it wants that obviously to share the same connection. Uh, enable host options. And then you could just put in here if you're wanting the host to play audio. So you want it to run through PC. Uh, you can change desktop resolution to match steaming client. Dynamically adjust capture resolution to improve performance. Use NF NVFBC capture on the NVIDIA GPU. So if you've got an NVIDIA GPU, obviously you can put that on. Enable hardware encoding. Enable hardware encoding for the NVIDIA. Obviously, if you're on AMD, do AMD. If you're on Intel, do Intel. The number of threads I've just left is automatic. Prioritize network traffic. This is obviously for higher end routers. If you've got a router that supports uh, network traffic. And that's like dual or tri-band. Enable advanced client options. And you also can go through different things here as well and select what kind of video and audio you want, obviously, to render through. Uh, controller, I've left that as default button. Performance overlay, show icons, but you can show details as well if you want like a performance stat of what, what's happening if it's dropping frames or anything. Automatic, I've done for bandwidth, frame rate limit, automatic, automatic. So for resolution, you can choose up to 8K. So you just choose obviously what's best for you. Hardware decoding, H -E HEVC video and low latency network and so on and so forth. Once you've got all them sorted out, once you try it again, it will work. And you'll notice because obviously it'll pair uh, and it'll actually show you PC. And then it just says type in the code. If you've gone into where I'd already showed you there, obviously regarding to remote play, it'll actually show you a pin. You can set pin or it'll actually show you a pin. that will come up here. When you go to pair, it'll actually show you like uh, numbers you put in. And then obviously whatever it shows you in the headset, when it allows you to go through, once you've done all these, then just click on and type in your pin number. And that's it. That's what you need to do. You're good to go. Once you've done that, you can sign in on the Quest using the Quest and go to your options, go to Steam Link. It'll link up to your Steam straight away and you'll be straight in. And there you go. It's easy as that. That's how you do it. So if you're having any issues with Quest 2 and you're not able to link and you're like, well, I keep doing it, but it won't actually sign in. It just keeps saying, go to support, go to support. That's how you do it. That's how you fix it. So uh, yeah, hopefully that helps you out. If it did, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you very much. Salute you all. And uh, yeah, bye for now.